Jesus in you. As many that receive him today, he gave up. Then you where you think you have failed in your life, that is where God will bless you. That is where God will surprise you. That is where God will elevate you. My earnest desire for this church is that nobody here will go to heaven. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 1. Read. Stand fast therefore in the liberty we are with Christ has made us free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Romans 6 22 and 23. But now be made free from sin and become servants of God. Ye have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. That is the word. To me, this is enough. Nothing will prevent us from receiving this word. Amen. You can be seated. I want to speak to us on this point. Stand fast and be focused. Stand fast and be focused. That is a command from the Spirit. We are living in a very critical time in history. When you look around, you know that the time is drawing near. One day, maybe when we are staying in the church like this, the king will split the skies and come down to take his church. We don't know the hour he will come. We don't know the time or the moment. Do you know why he did not show us or tell us the time? Do you know why? If the time was told us, devil will react. Don't neglect that beast, devil. He can tamper with anything. If he tamper with the salvation of men, how much more? If you know the time that Jesus will come, if you know the time of rapture, he can create sensation. But do you know that Jesus Christ, the Son of Man, the Son of Man, when he was man, he is 100% man and 100% God. But when he was here in the, in the flesh, he said that he did not know the time. That only the Father knows the time of his return. What he said is that we should be watching. We should watch and pray. What can I say to this generation? Than to remind you what Jesus said. Watch. Stand fast and be focused. Thousands of people are falling by the right and by the left. By the left. And you will never fall. Stand fast. Stand fast. Any time from now it may happen. Do you know that Jesus Christ in the real sense 
of it. He's looking at the father. Anytime the father says go, the greatest spectacle of all the ages will happen. You can't blame him. For example, if you marry a wife, one year, two years, your wife has not come back to you. You are waiting, waiting, waiting. Jesus is the husband of the church. He paid the price with his blood. Yet, the father did not allow him to come. <laughs> He's waiting. And I perceive every day, every month, every week, he will say to the father, Father, shall I go now? The father said, no, not yet. He will wait again. Enduring. He will look at the father again. Father, is it, is it, is it today? No. Wait. Father, when? Wait. But one day like this, it will happen. The last time he will ask the father, Father, shall I go? The father will say, Go! He will shout, Hey! Because he will be excited to come and take his wife. Believe it or not, the church is the wife of Jesus Christ. has no idea about that time at all when he will come. Because if he had any idea he will do his work as a devil. I perceive he can cause commotion. But God hid it from him. Doesn't know the hour. And Jesus said in a twinkle of an eye he will split the heaven. And come and take his bride. The dead will rise first, and we who are living will be changed to meet the Lord in the air. <laughs> Ask me what will I do when I'm going up? Ask me. I will grab two unbelievers, one on my right, one on my left. I will grab them, take them up, up, up. I will ask them when I get up somewhere. I say, will you now repent or you fall? That will be a risky time for anybody who doesn't believe. Because I can't spare them. You, you have been hearing this gospel for all these years. Now, follow me. Because it's a magnet. If you come near me, you'll be magnetic. So I will put them up, reaching, <laughs> reaching maybe 1,000 miles up. I said, Mr. Man, woman, will you now re receive Jesus or I drop you? What would they say? is coming I'm expecting that time to come gospel will be so simple to preach <laughs> if they refuse they fall you who believe or who we believe stand fast and have a focus many things will come to drive you away from the focus Many things. Devil will release his agents. See what he's doing in the world. Killing and killing and killing and causing confusion here and there. Be of good cheer. Our time is coming. 
the whole world we know that we have a savior I will give you some few points to think about one what will make you to shake the Bible said be steadfast no shaking don't allow anybody to deceive you don't allow anybody to divert your attention be focused he that endure to the end will make it every day when i wake up in the morning i say jesus is this another day whenever i come to the church i say elias so we are seeing another day again we can hasten his coming i say elias so we are we are in for another day but one day i will not ask that question again everything will come to an end I thank God because Jesus said he will not leave us to be ignorant. When he is coming, come near, we may feel it in my mind. We may feel it in our heart. I don't know. Be steadfast. The devil will open his door to release his ugly spirits. To shake you. To make you feel one kind. We are not ignorant of his devices. Be steadfast. I repeat, be steadfast. I don't know whether we, this will be the last service we are going to have. Nobody knows the time. But we continue to hammer it. Because it will be in a twinkle of an eye. The only sign that remains is the, is the trumpet. Rapture is one of the signs of second coming. Once rapture happens, Christ coming in glory. It's at stake. But for the rapture, nobody knows the time. It's a mystery. God never revealed it to any human being. No angel knows the time. Devil does not know the time. Only Jesus, now he has gone to glory, knows the time. He's preparing for us. <laughs> Keep your garment clean. This is the generation of grace. Grace is real, but it's not a license. Can we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. Be very careful. Be focused. We don't know the hour, we don't know the time. The Bible says the wages of sin is what? Death. Wages mean payment. The payment you will receive for sin if you are a sinner and you don't want to repent is dead. It's not ordinary sleep and die, but dead, second dead. You will go to darkness, go to hell. There was a time the American people say they will organize, you know, a kind of small hell for people to see. 
they organized it. It was so dark that if you stay one hour there, you will lose your senses. So nobody stayed one hour. This is man-made darkness. How much more the thick darkness? <laughs> Mark you that devil is not yet there. Satan is not yet there. Uh, there was a time Jesus was cast. He, he, the, the, the demons begged Jesus, said, Please don't send us there. Our time is not yet come. They fear that time. Jesus said to somebody, It is better you are not born than to experience that place. It has 10 departments. Go and check your Bible. One of them is darkness. It's a lake. It's a lake of fire. I don't know why I'm going that way now. But I want to remind you, hell is a lake. It doesn't, it doesn't move. Do you know, have you heard about white throne judgment? Have you heard about white throne judgment? How is it? How will it be? Now it's a throne. And the judge that will sit on that throne is Jesus himself. Every human being born by a woman must pass through that place. Unbelievers. Not a believer. A, no, no believer will appear on the white throne judgment. No. The only place we are going to appear is judgment seat of Christ. But white throne, I'm sorry for anybody who will appear there. Let me tell you one or two things you will see. Any unbeliever or anybody who appear in that throne, who, who appear on that throne, it is white because it's, it, it's holy, immaculate. As they will be passing, I perceive Jesus will sit on the throne with his holiness. And they will pass and Jesus will look at them. <laughs> that look alone will remind them all the suffering Jesus suffered for them. And they will regret. So you suffered all these things for me and I rejected it? Oh no. It will be a place of regret and remorse. It would have been better you go to hell straight than to appear before, before, before that white throne judgment. Because it will pierce you. You will regret. You will remember all the messages I have preached here. You will remember all the trust you have received. You will remember all the songs sung by the choir. It's a place of regrets. After all these things, then they open the leg. You go in. Forever. Do you think that what made God the father to surrender his son is a simple thing? It's not a thing we do. Stand fast. Be focused. Time is no more. I warn you. This is the last generation. Generation of grace. How can you escape if you neglect such a great salvation? You don't have to do any other thing. The work is finished. It's a done deal. Jesus died and paid the whole price you ought to pay and said to you, believe. And you are trying to struggle. What are you, you 
there is no way you can make it on your own. Huh? I still want to remind you about John 18 episode. The Pharisees <laughs> open it please. John chapter 8. I have preached it and I want to repeat it again. There is no way but one way. Read. John chapter 8 verse 1. Read. Jesus went Jesus went unto the Mount of Olives and early in the morning he came again into the temple and all the people came unto him and he sat down and taught them. He sat down. He, whenever Jesus sit down the job is finished. He sat down and taught them. What did he teach them? See what he taught them. Go ahead. And the scribes and the Pharisees, the scribe and the Pharisees, brought unto him, brought a, unto him, a woman taken in adultery. A woman taken in adultery, not not preparing to commit adultery. It was taken in it, in the very act. I don't know how that thing happened. No. Whether they were watching her, I don't want to go too far. But they were watching her. And once the, 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 the act started, they said, Come. They caught her red handed. Huh? Read. And when they had set her in the midst, now they took her to Jesus and set her in the midst. Uh huh? They said unto him, they said unto him, <laughs> ah, holier than thou. They said unto Jesus, Master, they called him Master. This woman, this woman, was this woman, this woman. Have you seen unbelievers talking to believers? If 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 you have committed anything, the, the way they will talk to you. And you say you're a Christian. They will pull you down. Uh -huh. This woman, this woman was taken in adultery. Was taken <laughs> in adultery. In the very act. In the very Bible is true. In the very act. I don't know how, but this woman. He get as he be. Was taken in adultery. Uh -huh. Now, Moses in the law. Now, here comes the law. You know, some of you are very clever in the law. Thou shalt not. Thou shalt not. Thou shalt not. Moses in the law. Commanded us, commanded us that such should be stoned. That such should be stoned. They were carrying stone in their handle. But, but, what sayest thou? By the way, what do you say? They were carrying stones in their hand. Supreme Court. We come to you, you are the Supreme Court. What do you say? Because our low court has condemned her. See the stones. And we brought her to the Supreme Court. <laughs> Many of you, you are now in the Supreme Court. Listen to me. Be steadfast and be focused. We brought her to you. What do you say? They were waiting for verdict. Read. This they said, tempting him. This they said, tempting Jesus. That they might have to accuse him. 
that they might have to accuse him because if Jesus said, Oh, stone him, they say, See, you see, you see, you see who, who called himself a savior? You see, and if he said, Leave him, oh, look at the man who said he's righteous, he's now breaking the law. What do you say? They were looking at him. I'm talking to somebody here. Yes, you who is sitting here or standing, who say you may be, be focused. Uh -huh. But, but Jesus stooped down. Jesus stooped down, and with his finger wrote on the ground. With his what? Why? Why? Finger. Have you ever checked that? Why did Jesus use finger to write? <laughs> Master Jesus. Beautiful in every situation. Do you remember that it is that finger that wrote Ten Commandments? That finger is writing again. The same finger <laughs> you know, the magicians, when they were performing their own magic, and they said, hey, this is finger of God. <laughs> you, can't, you can't challenge the finger of God. I want to announce to you, my brother, my sister, the finger of God has written something about you. me what is that that was written about you number one god has used his finger to write your name in the book of life you have passed from death into life nobody can clean your name in the book of life are you hearing me wait stand firm and stay focused it is the will of God to give you the kingdom. Read. With his finger wrote on the ground as finger, though he heard them not. Yes. He was writing and he, he sees their mind. Yeah, that uh, they had, they, they, he had, he did not hear them. Uh -huh. So, so, when they continued asking him, when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself. He lifted up himself. And said unto them. And said unto them. Wait. Uh, when you are reading the word of God, pause. Don't be too fast. What you are reading is spirits. Remove the letter, remove the ink and the paper. You will see the spirit. Don't rush. Meditate on what you are reading. The Bible says, He lifted himself up. He lifted up himself. He lifted up himself. What do you, what do you understand? Huh? What do you understand? The Bible says, He lifted up himself. Can I announce to you, my Savior is not in the grave. He said, I have, I have right, I have power to live, to take up my life again. And he has done it. Can I announce to all the demons here, and all the followers of demons, nobody. I don't know about you. Nobody can take me away from the hand of my Jesus. For he lifted up his eyes. Uh -huh. He lifted up himself, himself and said unto them. And said unto the Pharisees. He said unto them. He lifted up himself. Not he lifted up his eyes, but himself. Totally. He lifted up himself. Look at them. 
Who can stand his truth? Jesus is lifting himself against all the demons. Who is that bagger? He lifted up his <laughs> the mighty fortress. Every knee must bow. He lifted up himself. Bro, be glad. Whatever may be your situation, you'll be lifted up with Jesus. He can't leave you. He lifted up himself. Uh -huh. He lifted up himself and uh -huh. said unto them. He said unto them. He that is without sin among you. If he are without sin among you. Let him first cast a stone at her. Throw the, throw the stone first at her. And he, again, was, he was waiting. And again he stooped down. He stood down again. And wrote on the ground. And wrote on the ground. Old Testament and New Testament. He wrote down. First, stone this woman and I'm waiting. You have not committed any sin. Ah! What a word. Whether it's written or spoken, it's a dynamic. I'm telling you now. As you are hearing this word, no demon can stand before you. Uh huh. What happened? Mm. And they which heard it. <laughs> can you picture the scenario? They which heard it, which had Jesus say, being convicted. Of course. By their own conscience. <laughs> Jesus has a preacher he put in them. Conscience. When they were pointing to one, four fingers are pointing to them. Be convicted by their own conscience. Went out one by one. Wait till they went out listen the first person they went out one by one beginning beginning at, beginning <laughs> beginning at the eldest beginning from the elders <laughs> even unto the last even unto the last jesus was left alone jesus was left alone and the woman standing in the midst and the woman standing in the midst one with god He was standing alone with the woman. Who can condemn her? If God is with you, who will be against you? We don't understand why Jesus came. That's why we are trembling. Stand still and be focused. Uh -huh. When Jesus has lifted up himself, uh -huh. And saw none, and saw nobody, but the woman, or the woman. He said unto her, He said unto her, Woman, woman, where are those thy accusers? Has no man condemned thee? She said, uh, Wait, my brother. When Jesus lifted up himself, he said, Ah, where are those crowd of people who brought you here? Where are they? Woman? You mean no man condemn you? I'm waiting for them to stone you. No one? And the woman said what? She said. She said. No man, Lord. She called him what? Lord. And Jesus said. Something has, something has been transacted. Say, no man, Lord Jesus. Give him praise, give him praise.
You know, we born again Christians, we don't know how to address Jesus. We say Jesus Christ. Just like that. When last do you call him Lord? When you call him Lord, you call him by his divine name. He is my owner. He owns me. I don't have anything. He is my owner. He owns me from head to toe. I'm a bond slave. I have no power to speak. He is the one enabling me. I have no power to raise my hand. He is the one enabling me. I have no right even to eat. I don't know how to eat. He is the one directing me. He is the Lord. If he is your Lord, it's a done deal. You are in heaven. He will never lose any of his child. He will take you to heaven. Hear this. It is your father's good will to give you the kingdom. Hallelujah. Show banker. That's why I'm chasing out. Say, devil, too late. Too late. The time you have gotten me is past. But not now. Because I know whom I believe. And I'm persuaded that he's able to keep that which I committed unto him against that day. <laughs> Laugh at the devil if you like. Jesus said, We are there. Do you know what? The woman said, they, they are not here. Jesus Christ is the only one who has authority to stone you. <laughs> he is the only one qualified to stone people. But he has not come to kill, he has come to save. What does that mean to us? It means when you are preaching or when you are witnessing, don't have that mind of condemnation. Don't have that mind of condemnation. I had a story of a husband and wife. The husband was going somewhere. He left the wife at home. And the man had been hearing about his wife that he had been messing up. He was not very sure. That day, he, he, he said he wanted to travel. He traveled, but not too far. The woman, in her usual way, the boyfriend came. And the two of them were messing up in the room. The man opened the door. It was in this man's bedroom. And when the man opened the door, he saw two of them. They saw him. Do you know what the man said? Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. He closed the door again and went away. Hi. It would have been better that that woman receive a gunshot than to see that thing. The man said, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. He went away. Tell me, <laughs> tell me what the woman would do. I don't know any one of us who can do it. If rain no fall, make a shower. Do you understand? If you meet your wife in that mood, 
If rain no fall, make a shower. Nobody, I, I don't, I don't know whether any real man can tolerate it. <laughs> Say, no man condemn you. And the woman was sobbing. And Jesus said unto her, read. And Jesus said unto her, Jesus said unto her, neither do I condemn thee. Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. Woman, we have entered the generation of grace. Go and sin no more. I give you the grace that would empower you not to commit sin. Go. Go and sin no more. You here who has been rejoicing about grace, and you have been mingling with sin. You are hypocrites. Grace is given for you to overcome sin. The Bible says sin will no more have dominion over you. It is not only adultery. It's not only fornication. It's not only still, you know. Ordinary talking lie. Let me call it ordinary. Ordinary deceiving your children. You know, many, many parents are, are clever in deceiving their children. Uh, baby, if I come back, I will buy you. I will come back. I'm, I will buy you biscuits. The boy will say, ah, thank you, man. You go, come back. The boy will be looking at your hand. No biscuit. Oh. You may call it a small thing. But if you deceive that a, 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 a small child, what are, you, what are you telling him? You are telling him that your Christianity is nothing. Because your yes is not yes. Your no is not no. Instead for you to promise your child that you buy something, don't say anything. There are many small, small evening foxes that are eating up the food. You are not steadfast. Ton, 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 ton. People cannot believe you. Exaggeration. Hey, I think. Don't think again. Be sure before you say. If grace did not give you holiness, that may be the grace of, uh, the name of a person, not grace of God. If I ask grace, raise up your hand here, they will raise. But don't answer grace. Cancel your name as grace if you cannot maintain grace. But if you can maintain it, continue with it. It's an epistle. Be a disciple. Be disciplined. Without which you are painting God, kingdom of God black. If you read more, there are certain things. Read, read, read. Neither do I condemn thee. Uh -huh. Go and sin no more. Uh -huh. Then speak Jesus again unto them say, uh -huh. I am the light of the world. This is um, you Pharisees and Sadducees who is preaching law, thou shalt not. I am the light of the world. He that followeth me, he that followeth me, shall not walk in darkness. Shall not walk in darkness. But, but shall have the light of life. Shall have the light of life. Jesus made it clear that he is the life. 
He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness. Is there anybody walking in darkness here? By your fruit shall know you. I close. Do you know what? The kingdom of God is simple for you to go. Very simple. Because some people say, ah, enter into tight, narrow way. How many of you know that? That is in the Bible. If you know that that is written in the Bible, say yes. What is narrow way? What is narrow way? Huh? I don't know what you are saying anyway. Narrow way is a person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, some people say narrow way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he begins to thou shalt not. Hey. No. Jesus is a narrow man. He doesn't do anything in narrow. So if you receive him as a narrow way, he will guide you into all the narrow ways. Don't condemn yourself. Hey, I am not walking in narrow way. Hey. If you have Jesus, you are in a narrow way. He said, I am the way. The truth and the life. I have entered into a narrow way. And my God is able to keep me to the uttermost. He will save you to the uttermost. Can I tell somebody here? You are not going to perish. You will not perish. Every day God is watching at you. Devil want to deceive you. Ah, but not. It is written. Nobody can plug you out of his hand. He's able to keep you to the uttermost. You are too precious. Do you know how much Jesus paid to save you? Huh? Whole, the whole heaven was involved. And he left the whole heaven come to this world to spill his blood for you. He paid the ransom and say to you all you that labor you are laboring to go to heaven you can make it all you that labor and you are heavy laden come I will give you rest I, I close by this story I told you this story it was 1970 I went to preach somewhere in the night. In the night. God gave me a vision. Mm. I was looking a line of people line up in a single fire. They were coming, 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 coming. You can hear the, 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 the noise of their step. They were, you will know that this, this, these are, uh, they were coming, coming. And I was watching with interest. And I look where they were going. It was a big pit full of darkness. They were dropping like like a drop of water. Boom, 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 boom. I said, hey, God, what are you showing me? Who are these people? See, 
where they are dropping and you are quiet god what is this he said these are the people who had the word but they responded not i said why why are they naked he said because naked they come to this world and naked they shall go what are they carrying at the back he said these are the people who had come unto me you that labor and are heavy laden i will give you rest i, I said but where are they going by dropping into the pit these are the bottomless pits after that vision i double my evangelism i say as i'm pre as i'm talking now how many people are dropping into hell if you love your neighbor show him the way out it's not a good place for somebody to, to drop i finish i want to warn you be steadfast be focused for the wages of sin is dead but listen the free gift of god is eternal life have you received the gift have you received the gift freely from god if you have rejoice it's a done deal shall we pray Tenant 12 Latif Salami Street, Ajawa Estate, along Mutala Mohammed Airport Road, Lagos. Please outrage, reaching out to the trouble souls. Don't miss it. CPM, Jesus Christ is Lord. God has a plan for you. A plan to give you a bright future. Come and experience expository teachings and a powerful prophetic breakthrough service this Sunday at Christian Pentecostal Mission International with God's anointed servants, Rev. Dr. O. Isakel, the General Overseer, Rev. Dr. Mercy Isakel, Co-Pastor, National and International Coordinator, and other anointed servants of God. Worship with us this Sunday at 8.30 a.m. at Christian Pentecostal Mission International Headquarters, 10 and 12 Latif Salami Street, Ajawa Estate, along Mutala Mohammed Airport Road, Lagos. You can also worship with any CPM International branch close to you. It will be a time of salvation, healing, deliverance in the presence of God. CPM, Jesus Christ is Lord. <laughs>